is the entrance to Ding Hushan. You can see it's gonna be a busy day. Well, it's not so bad so far. I mean, um, there's a lot of people here on a Sunday. People are in the parking lot here staging. You know, hopefully we can find some quiet places on the mountain too. Oh, not a problem, got me a ticket. 70 RMB for about 10 bucks. They're going to the mountain, that's pretty good. There's a lot of security here, a lot of security. And now from here, I guess I just follow the crowd up the mountain. It's about a half a click to the main gate. So they're very strict with the health uh, precautions. You have to wear a mask to get in. I'm sure you have to wear a mask on all the buses. Uh, I'm just going to take it up to the initial spot and see what happens there. I do have a map, but I haven't really referenced it too much. Boy, I, I'm so glad I took the bus. It's a long slog up that hill. Uh, a couple of guys were charging it, man, but by the time they get to the first stop, it is quite a hike. So I'm glad I'm saving my legs for the rest of the day. First stop today is this beautiful looking garden. Yeah, you guys know me, man. You gotta walk away from the crowds. Try to find your own spot. In the background, I can hear them clamoring a little bit, which is fine. It's a very crowded day today, being Sunday. It's known as Butterfly Valley. More shops, more places to eat. There's a boat ride you can take in this beautiful reservoir. Oh, it's gorgeous. And in the center, there's an island with a bunch of butterflies. It costs 35 RMB. Be over 90 species of butterfly on this island. Yeah, you you kind of have to be careful where you step because some of them are on the ground. Now they fly all around you. Some of these are really beautiful. Kind of a planked road that runs along the island here. Absolutely beautiful. This is a very large temple.
this forest is gorgeous. These tall trees, so lush and green. It is just beautiful. I found a trail that I'm all alone. In the distance, I can hear lots of people down in the valley. Um, I'm kind of halfway up this ridge. There's supposed to be a waterfall. I can hear it. I think I broke my camera. My little DJI pocket camera, I dropped it. And I think the gimbal's broken. That's okay, I have this action cam. And uh, I always have my phone just in case. I've had that little camera for about two years now. It might be time for an upgrade. Camera breaks, you upgrade, right? Oh my goodness. This is beautiful. Look at this. I so want to go swimming. Wow. Thunderstorm might be coming in. It's starting, to, starting to rain on us. It's a uh, early afternoon now. What a hike, though, man! Come up to this is beautiful. What a beautiful little river valley. It's such a hot day to be fully shaded in all of this green lushness with cool, clean water running through it. It's great. Well, that's it for me, man. I'm worn out. Spent about five hours on this mountain. Time to go back. Lots of people, only a couple moments of, of solitude, but that's okay. Families, a lot of children, you know, a lot of very friendly people. So I didn't mind so much. I mean, it's, it really is an incredibly beautiful valley and I understand why it is so popular. Now there's another section of this mountain that I didn't get to see. Uh, it requires a little bit more planning uh, now that I know about it. The next time I come here, I'll have to hit it up. Apparently it's got a lot more waterfalls and a lot less people. Maybe come back here in a different season when it's not so dang hot. I don't know about you, I think a hamburger and a few beers are in order for tonight. <laughs> uh, Chaoqing is an amazing place.